guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Sarah, and welcome to my channel. Um, I make product and service review videos for things that are popular on the internet, and today I'm going to be talking about Folsom and Co. So if you're unfamiliar with Folsom and Co, you may have seen them from all of their Instagram ads. Basically, they have a ton of ads just advertising free stuff, free leggings, free watches, all kinds of free clothing. And it seems like it's, it has to just be too good to be true. So I actually bought a pair of Folsom & Co leggings for free. And today I'm going to be talking about whether or not it's a scam, whether or not you should avoid this company at all costs or whether or not it's okay to go ahead and purchase these leggings. So if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. Okay, and before I forget, remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you like this video. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like the content, but you may just be surprised that you actually like the videos I put out there. Okay. So now let's get into my experience with the Folsom & Co leggings. So when I was looking at Instagram, basically what I saw is these free leggings that were discounted supposedly from like 50 or $60 full retail price. And they looked like basically, I'll insert a picture if I can find it, but basically they just looked like, like cute black leggings. They were full retail price, 50 or $60 discounted to zero and I was like okay there has to be either one of two situations going on either number one these leggings are absolutely amazing and they know in their marketing department that as long as they can get someone to purchase the leggings or you know get these leggings for free that they'll just be so blown away by these leggings that they'll just want to buy more at full price so that was scenario number one. Scenario number two that I figured could be happening is the leggings are so cheap that they can charge you for like just a few dollars in shipping and handling and they're still able to be profitable because the leggings are just gonna be like dirt cheap, bottom of the barrel quality leggings and it's just all a scam and they can still make money with these like free leggings because they're just making all of the money on shipping. I figured the second scenario was probably more likely, but I went ahead and purchased the leggings. So the first thing I noticed that kind of made me feel like a bit slimy about the whole thing was they do charge you quite a lot for shipping. Um, they charge you $11.95 for shipping. So I was like, okay, I figured whatever the situation is, $11.95 is still pretty cheap for leggings. So that was the first thing. I, I purchased them for $11.95. Then um, the next kind of issue that I ran into was the shipping. So the shipping took a very long time. It took almost a month. I made the order on May or March 11th and I actually received the package, I believe on April 5th. So it took almost a whole month. About a week after I had made the initial order, they sent me an email that basically said, hey, there's because of such high demand for the leggings, we're you know, running a bit slower than usual, so it could take between two and four weeks to receive the leggings. And that is pretty much exactly what happened. It arrived about a month, I don't know, $11.95 shipping cost and taking a month to arrive is pretty hefty. Um, it's a pretty large cost for that amount of time, but I figured, you know, maybe if the leggings are really great, then it'll be worth it. Uh, that was kind of my perspective. So a few weeks ago, I actually got the leggings in the mail. Here they are. I'll try them on for you guys in a second. To be honest, when I opened the package, the quality was actually better than I expected. Um, kind of as I mentioned, I expected these to be like kind of bottom of the barrel leggings that they're able to ship and do everything for $11.95. So I was expecting pretty bad quality. To be honest, the quality is a little bit 
better than I expected. Um, they seem actually kind of well made. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see, but let me try these on for you guys and then I'll show you a little bit more about what they look like. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but here's what the leggings look like on. Um, so as I mentioned, the quality is not horrible, but it's not great. So there's a few things that kind of make me think they're not great quality. So one is they're already kind of fraying at the ends. If you can see that, there's like a little string kind of coming out here on this side. The ends are kind of, I don't know if you're able to see this, but they're like kind of fraying a little bit. But on the positive side, they do look pretty much exactly like the picture. They have this little like cell phone spot. They have this like sheer panel down the sides. Um, so they actually are kind of cute. The other downside though, is they are pretty thin. I don't believe that these would pass the squat test if that is something that you are interested in. They are kind of more on the thin sheer side of leggings, um, if you could see. So they're a little bit more on the sheer side. Also, as far as I know, they don't come in any different lengths. This is like really too long for me. This like, I need to have it bunched up on the, on the bottom because it's just too long and they don't have any other lengths. But this is kind of what the leggings look like. So hopefully you kind of get a sense to the quality. Okay, so just my final verdict on Folsom & Co. leggings. Um, first of all, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. These leggings are not actually free. You do have to pay $12 for them. Um, and to be honest, I feel like the quality is good for $12 leggings. However, the quality is not up to the standard of a 50 or $60 legging. Um, I think you get what you pay for. You pay $12 for these leggings. It's probably a good value for your money, but to be honest, I don't buy into the whole thing that they're really $60 leggings that they're, they're doing for $12. But I'm gonna say it's like a 50-50 scam. Like it's not actually free, but it's not nearly as bad as it could be. So hopefully this helps you if you are thinking about buying Folsom & Co. leggings, if you've seen them online and are wondering if it's totally a scam, if you're actually gonna get the leggings at all. If hopefully you found this helpful. Um, if you have any other questions or you have a different experience, then let me know down in the comments below. And that's it, hope to see you next time, bye.